hello guys welcome back again to another video now in today's video we're going to look at how we can overlay text and also and also overlay save inside a video so let's go straight in olive 0.2 and have a look at that so here in the project window let's right click and creating a new sequence and click ok let's import in two video clips so go to where you save your video clips simply select them and drop it into the project window and now we can look at the node so here in the node we have the sequence one which is the one that we created we also have two video clips which also attach to the root folder which is inside the project so let's bring out the uh, first video clip onto the timeline so here we want this to go into the timeline and we have it on the timeline let's cut this up somewhere here so hold on c to cut and v to go back to the pointer tool and select the part you want to delete and delete it okay now we have a problem here which uh, comes with this audio so we need to delete this audio as usual uh, we shall hold on ctrl and l to unlink it and that's the first method you can do to unlink any audio clips that comes with a video clip and the second method is because we are using the node you can use the node to delete that so simply select the clip on the timeline and then go to here you can see the volume which is the one that attached to the clip so selecting these two nodes and simply delete it and you are deleting the clip on the timeline okay so let's place here before we move on um to zoom in and out simply right click here and then scroll zoom by default so you can use the middle mouse button to zoom in and out so now we want to overlay a text inside this video clip so to do that let's go to the node editor so in the node editor in the add node here click and generator and our text and then place it here we need a matte node so let's come to the add node matte and merge and place it here and then let's connect this so in the text output click and drag it into the input value any of this go to the um, the video clip itself in the transform don't use this one here and plug it into the bottom value because we use the top value for the text and then in the output click and plug it into the buffer what is the buffer of the clip so now we have the text overlaid onto the uh, video clip so the next thing is to edit the text so let's select the text come to the parameter editor and change the text changing this to a ticker font and then the value something higher like 400 just for fun okay there we have it now we want to overlay this text into the uh, video clip here so simply go to the math node that is the whole reason we use the math node in olive 0.1 we use the luma key in red to um, overlay the text onto the video clip in olive 0.1 we're using the math node here so in the math node you can see the parameter you can see the method here add we want to go to multiply so in, when we edit the multiply you can see it's multiply and overlay the text into the video clip as we did in olive 0.1 if you want to you can zoom in by simply selecting the um since we need a transform node so let's add a transform node this dot transform and you can use this to zoom in from the scale here and out from the text if you want to do that so this is the first method we can use this to overlay a text inside a video clip okay so let's move on to the next part which is overlay a shape inside a video clip so let's delete all the nodes here not everything sorry but just the text and the transform node we want to add a save node so come here generator and save and place it here again do as usual connecting this to the top value as you can see we have the save here let's selecting the save go to the uh, position here and change the position right click in the sequence view here and set the margin on so we can see where to place our little rectangle there somewhere here and increase the size to something bigger like um, 500 and as you can see again we just overlay this shape which is rectangle here or you can change to ellipse here onto the video clip but it's red because in the color here in the save parameter you can change this to different color if you want to so you can see we change to green we can change to blue so it depends on because in the matte here you can see we add the multiplier you can also add add 
to add this onto there and the shape just adding on that when you go to multiply we just overlay into only one place but if you go to add you can see that the shape is adding onto the whole video clip here there's another thing that we can also do or having fun in here let's change this to multiply and we want to add a video clip so this save or this video clip here will be played on top of another video clip so let's go to the project and drag in this video clip here bring this up to the video track 2 and drag this in and as you can see when we do that you can see that we already have the uh, video overlaid or the shape overlaid onto the second video clip here now since we have the uh, change the color to blue we want to change that to neutral which is um, white so let's select the first video clip which is the top one here selecting the save and in the save parameter let's change this to white then click ok as you can see we have overlaid this so we can change the value to 1000 to make it more clear for us and then change the other value of the y value to 1000 as well and then use the position to position this okay so why do is this uh, why is this very handy because if for example if you want to focus on some place particular uh, you can just use the save here using the mat here and then you use this save to um zoom in on it instead of zooming in you can just use this to uh, get this video clip to show that this is the focus point of your video clip so there you have it two ways we can use to overlay uh, text or overlay another video clip using the save node thank you again for watching and hope to see you back again in another video and before we go if you have not subscribed yet please do so and uh, thank you for watching bye for now